Paradium, and you, the Citizen Guide to Safety. A civil defense film produced in cooperation with the Federal Civil Defense Administration and in consultation with the Safety Commission of the National Education Association. Produced by the Lark Productions, Incorporated. You've no doubt heard about it around your schoolyard or seen the posters up around town. Our nation is facing a threat unlike any the civilized world has ever dealt with. A new chemical weapon has come to prominence. You may know it as the Juts, or Bleeding Frenzy, or the insurmountable white-hot razor needles of agony, or Stabbies. To the scientific community, though, it has only one name, Paradium. Since its introduction in May of last year, there have been 17 confirmed Paradium attacks on American citizens, 15 of which occurred in states of importance. In order to reduce your risk of coming into contact with this deadly weapon, you must first learn to recognize the signs of an attack. Meet Janice. Janice does what she must for the good of her countrymen. Janice knows how to properly react to a Paradium attack to ensure the least amount of harm. And a lucky thing, too, as Janice has just accidentally inhaled a small amount of the powdered chemical. Once in her system, the Paradium acts fast, moving through the bloodstream and into the bones, where it springs into action. Wasting no time, it begins to liquefy the bone marrow and raises it to a rapid boil, causing pressure to build up and temperatures to rise. Janice recognizes the telltale sensation of being cooked from the inside out, and knows that she is at the epicenter of a paradium attack. She knows that she has 20 minutes before her bones explode under the pressure of her liquefied marrow. As a courtesy to others, Janice screams in agony and panic to alert others of the impending danger. If they're lucky, they haven't been exposed to the paradium and can evacuate the area around Janice unharmed. After 20 minutes, the pressure becomes too much and her bones explode outward in a sloppy mess of blood and boiling marrow. So remember, kids, if you ever find yourself poisoned with paradium, be like Janice. Know the signs of an attack. Scream in agony to alert those around you, and allow everyone in the area to evacuate to safety. Because of the safety steps she took, evacuations could be made in a timely manner, and for that, we thank you, Janice. Now that you know what an attack looks like, there are some important facts you need to know about paradium. Paradium poisoning can occur in several ways. It can be inhaled from the air or ingested in food or water. Bear in mind, infants and young children are especially susceptible to paradium. Not all paradium attacks are fatal. For instance, only 50% of paradium attacks result in death by laceration wounds or blood loss. Surprisingly, almost 25% of paradium victims live through the external ruptures only to succumb to internal injuries, such as being stabbed through the heart or drowning with their lungs fill with boiling bone marrow. The lucky 15% who live through all bone explosion related injuries will die from brain trauma associated with their shattered skull. 10% of attacks end in other outcomes, some of which are not fatal. While it is possible to survive a paradium attack, it is in no way advisable. There are two main types of paradium. These are paradium purple and paradium violet. They are distinguishable only by the subtle difference in color, as seen here. Paradium purple is highly lethal and will cause bone marrow liquefaction within seconds of inhalation or ingestion. Paradium violet can be used in place of powdered sugar in most recipes, and is entirely harmless and somewhat sweet. There are several other varieties of paradium. Learn them well. Your life may depend on it. Let's review what we've learned, shall we? Paradium attacks can happen anywhere, with little to no warning. If you become the victim of a paradium attack, warn others so that they may escape your grisly fate. There are many varieties of paradium, the most merciful of which are lethal. There is no escape. There is no hiding. Paradium will find you. And paradium will kill you.